Hey, I'm Deanna Price and this is my channel Shade Tree Stables and today I'm going to do a video for you about tick prevention on your horses and you can use this application on yourself as well. I don't have to explain to you the problems with ticks and the diseases and illnesses that you can potentially get from ticks. I think most of us are aware of that. Um, and I despise ticks and I have done a lot of different things to try to prevent them. So um, I contacted a company and they have sent me a product that I'm going to try out and hopefully it's going to work out really well. Uh, I was talking to my chiropractor one day. He does a lot of hiking and I asked him what he does to prevent tick bites and from getting ticks on him. And he said what he does is he treats his outerwear with permethrin. And so you spray the product on your clothing. When you're not wearing it, you let it dry and then it um, helps repel and kill ticks. So that's what prompted me to contact this company, Sawyer. And I had a lengthy conversation with Travis at Sawyer and he explained to me that um, this product prevents and kills ticks for six weeks. It also helps to prevent fleas and mosquitoes for 35 days or more. He also explained that his permethrin product is safe to directly apply to dogs and horses. A lot of the products that we already use, our fly sprays contain permethrin. Um, the topicals that we use to prevent fleas on our dogs are oftentimes 44 to 45% permethrin, as well as the topical tubes of um, permethrin that you put directly on your horses, that's 45% permethrin. So this product is 0.5% pharmaceutical grade of permethrin. So I found that very interesting. He also uh, is interested to see if my horses tolerate it better because my horses did not like those topical tubes of permethrin that you can put on every two weeks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply it to my horses fly wraps and then I'm also going to apply it directly to their tail hair. And I'm going to also put it on the grazing muzzles that my girls wear, not on the basket part around their face, but just on the part that goes over the top of their head. So of course I'm always a little bit concerned with using chemicals around my horses, but I'm also really concerned about tick-borne diseases for myself and for my animals and for my family. So this seemed like a good solution because it's not being applied directly to them, though I can potentially do that and I may do that down the road, but first I'm gonna try just applying it to the horse's outerwear, their fly gear. In the meantime, here's some Q and A's from things that I found on good old Google. So here's a question I found on Google. It said, is permethrin safe for humans? And the answer was, permethrin is a topical insecticide which is not known to rapidly harm most mammals or birds, but is toxic to cats or fish when wet. Um, it is poorly absorbed by the skin, which has prompted its use to treat head lice, nits, scabies, and various species of ticks. Another question on Google was, is permethrin safe for skin? The answer is permethrin is over 2,250 times more toxic to ticks than humans. Put directly on the skin, typically less than 1% of the active ingredient is absorbed into the body. DEET, on the other hand, can be absorbed 20 times that rate, and permethrin is pregnancy category B, which means showing no evidence of harm, harm to fertility or fetus. Another question was, what is the difference between pyrethrin and permethrin? The main difference between these two insecticides is that permethrin, the product that I'm using today, is a synthetic chemical made in laboratories, while pyrethrum is a completely natural substance acquired from chrysanthemums. The next question is, which is better, DEET or permethrin? DEET is applied directly to the skin and can be absorbed through the skin. DEET does not kill or disable ticks and is a poor repellent. Permethrin works instantly as an, and is extremely effective. It is the tick repellent of choice by the military. The last question is, is permethrin cancerous? And the answer was, permethrin was classified by the International Agency for Research on Cancer as not classifiable as to its carcinogenity to humans. The US EPA decided that permethrin was likely to be carcinogenic to humans if eaten. So don't eat it. Now let's get on to applying the product. I was told that you don't want to inhale the product. You also um, don't want to necessarily get it directly on your skin. So the wind is blowing this way. I have my fly wraps out here and I also have the grazing muzzles out. Um, this product, you're supposed to really saturate it. This product and these wraps are more of like a plasticky mesh and I don't know how well that spray will adhere to that. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the whole wrap, but I'm definitely gonna focus on the Velcro enclosures and the fleece lining on some of these wraps. Um, I also have a video on a fly wrap review, and I still have some of these wraps out here. Those are from a couple of years ago. And there's a new wrap that I used last year. This is last year's wrap. This is the same one, a brand new one. And it is the Smart Pack Kensington wrap. And I am kind of liking that one. It's more expensive and they only come in pairs of two. But if you want to update on that, I am liking the Kensington wraps with the fleece on top from Smart Pack. So let's get to applying. Now I have the permethrin product on my fly wraps. It sh uh, needs to dry before I put it on the horses and then it should prevent and kill ticks for six weeks. So I will put that on the horses tomorrow, turn them out and I will see what happens. All right, I'm back. It has been about a month since I started using Sawyer Premium Insect Repellent. And here I would say that we have a moderate tick problem. As early as March, I had ticks on me back when I was working on the fence and our pasture grass is really tall, even though uh, we've already mowed it this year and it's tall again, just because we've had an excessive amount of rain. So before I get to the results, I'm gonna ask you a favor and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, that gives me the positive reinforcement I need to stay motivated. Um, so my horses, Pugsy, he goes out with just fly wraps on and in the last month he had one tick on him and it was underneath his mane and so my guess is that that tick probably just crawled up his face while he was grazing and it probably never came into contact with the product. So I'm thinking what I might do is go ahead and spray some of this product on um, a rag and then just wipe it under their jawline just to help keep ticks from climbing up their face. Uh, Magic had no ticks on her. She wears four fly wraps and then has a grazing muzzle. And then Chance, who is normally my little tick magnet, um, she had one tick underneath her mane and she ended up having two ticks on her tail, like up in her tail. Um, but when I went to pull them off, they just kind of disintegrated. So I think what happened is they crawled up her tail, were exposed to the permethrin, were able to briefly attach, but then died before they were able to produce any um, of the anticoagulant or get engorged. So those tick bites came off really clean. The ticks um, just crumbled when I pulled them off. So that was awesome. I did end up, because she doesn't wear fly wraps, I don't have any pony size ones. I did end up um, spraying directly on her legs and she has not had any adverse reaction to the product. And I only had to do that one time. And that was after I did find one tick on her leg. So I have been really thrilled with this product. Um, I have tried a lot of things in the past and this by far is the best thing. So just to have a handful of ticks on my horses in a month's time 
is excellent. So I'm gonna give this product two thumbs up. I am going to link it in the description below if you wanna purchase it. I will also put uh, Sawyer's website on there. So if you wanna look up anything more about the product, you can. And as always, I wanna thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.